Hi everyone, welcome to my QTH. So this is a video uh, just to show you the antenna that my friend Nigel, G0CQZ built. It's a quadrophilia helix antenna. Uh, omnidirectional, specifically built for um, downloading uh, NOAA satellite, weather satellite telemetry. Um, some of you will know that I've been doing that myself, but using a horizontal V dipole. I've got two already set up. Uh, the wind has blown the nearest one around about 90 degrees. Um, and I haven't done anything about that because I haven't actually been recording weather satellite data from my QTH now for several weeks because of the terrible noise that I get on 137 megahertz. So they're basically there. Um, my I've got two uh, SDR play receivers connected to them, the RSP Duo and the RSPDX. Um, but because of the noise, it's very sort of hit and miss as to whether I receive uh, any uh, telemetry at all, sometimes nothing. Um, what does work very well is the RSP1A um, with the third V dipole that I've got that I mount temporarily on the roof of the car uh, at a much quieter location. Um, for, a, for a sun synchronous low orbit, uh, satellite um, with circular polarization, so effectively the signal is rotating. You need an omnidirectional antenna because these satellites uh, they sort of appear above one horizon, disappear um, below the opposite horizon. Um, so, obviously, an omnidirectional antenna is what you need. At low elevation, obviously, the signal is much weaker, um, and then obviously, as it passes uh, overhead the signal increases and then it, until it disappears again. Um, I use an audio bandwidth filter of about 42 kilohertz and receives and decoded some really brilliant images. Um, but this antenna is properly omnidirectional and in theory should perform better than either of my V dipoles. Now it's constructed from what looks like a piece of wastewater pipe. Um, the uh, sort of helical elements are copper uh i don't know if they're copper uh, they're so thin actually i'm sure they're copper bar not copper pipe that have been bent into a specific shape helix um, they all have specified lengths which i won't go into that's all on the internet um all sort of soldered together um and then with these the supporting sort of cross section again out of make again fabricated from plastic pipe um all sort of sealed uh, looks like a pretty good job um nigel has since built another antenna and suggested that i give this uh give this one a try which uh, i will do um i've just been looking at the swr and um on 100 right in the middle of the band 137.5 megahertz i've got an swr of about 2.8 which is okay um but i managed to get an swr of, of i think better than 1 to 1.5 um with my v dipole so i'm not sure whether something's happened there or not i'll probably have to uh, uh take it down again and have a uh, investigate but um <clears throat> swr is not nearly so important on receive obviously as it is on transmit so it will still work um it's just a case of uh, uh whether i can find anything obvious that's uh, gone wrong or not I don't, I don't probably not actually and it might just be that it's, i'm a bit too close to the house um or that i'm a bit too close to other antennas etc but anyway i'm uh, looking forward to trying this, this quadrophilia helix and um, if it's very noisy here still, I, I expect it to pick up obviously exactly the same noise levels as my V dipoles, then um, I'll put it in the boot of the car. Uh, well, actually, it won't just be the boot. I'll put it in the boot and the rest of it will pass through the uh, centre uh, part of the rear seat um, and take it to a quieter location with, with this tripod and, uh, and give it a go. So, uh, so there you go. So thank you very much to Nigel, G0CQZ and um, I'll give it a go and hopefully get some uh, good results. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching, 73.